Hi, this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness. As many of you know, Scott Thorfinson, aka Mr. Holster, finally lost his battle with cancer after a hard two year fight. And, you know, I wanted to do something in memory of Scott, and I felt like uh, shooting, and it is loaded, the chief special that he gave me a couple of years ago that uh, that would be a fitting way to honor his passing. And by the way, since he passed, I've been carrying this a, little, a lot here lately. I wanted to talk a couple of things about Scott, talk about his humor. You know, when I first started watching his YouTube videos and, and you know, Scott's very wise. He had a lot of wisdom about firearms, about self-defense. You know, I was interested in stories about the ranch. You know, but those jokes, those corny jokes, I used to go, oh my God. But you know, the more you listen, then you start laughing <laughs> and you started enjoying those jokes. And I, I used to be uh, the highlight of uh, my Saturday morning. I would watch uh, Mr. Holster and oftentimes my wife would hear me laughing and she'd go, okay, you're watching Mr. Holster, aren't you? And she actually enjoyed watching Mr. Holster. And she especially loved watching where Katie, Mrs. Holster, would compete against Mr. Holster in a firearms competition. And of course, Mr. Holster always let Katie win. <laughs> and my wife just thought that was just so neat. And she said, Greg, th those are just such good people. And so much, my wife wanted to eventually be able to go up to Minnesota and meet them in person and spend some time with them. Because she thought, you know, they're just, Greg, they're just quality people. And I would definitely concur about that. But you know, Scott had that wry sense of humor. But you know, Scott had other qualities. Sometimes, if you weren't careful, you would miss those qualities. And the best way that I can express those qualities is to go back to a story he told in December on Patreon. And you have to remember, Scott, over a two-year period, you know, chemo, radiation, you know, Scott lost a lot of weight. You know, he physically, he, he wasn't as strong as he was. There were many things he, he couldn't do, yet he kept trying, and he kept working, and he kept trying to provide for Mrs. Holster. But Scott told this story on Patreon. This happened the first week in December. Uh, Eric Ebony had come on a Sunday afternoon, and they had been shooting uh, Ebony's uh, Ruger Blackhawk. You know, had a wonderful day on, out there on the range. But something was amiss, and uh, Pecos Painty was, was acting real skittish and real nervous, and Scott discovered that his horse Lady had fallen into a frozen pond on their property. And Lady, um, and very ironically, Lady has cancer. And they believe that she had gotten into the water because of the pain of the cancer. or trying to get some relief from the cancer. But they couldn't get her out. They spent several hours, and I want you to imagine this. This is someone who's sick with cancer. Here he is in neck deep water you know, trying to get this horse out of the, the pond, you know, one of his favorite horses that had been with him for many years. And after several hours, uh, they just realized there was just no way they were going to be able to pull her out. And so he had 
the the task of putting her down but not just putting her down but then spending another couple of hours having to you know in waist deep water having to dismember her with a chainsaw and pull the parts out of the the pond now you tell me that's a man right there someone who does what they have to do no matter what and to top it off that day uh, the heater for their their um, their not a pond but where they uh, the tank where they kept the water for the livestock it went out so once again in the dark they're having to chip away ice and you know replacing the motor in that uh, that tank and you know Katie got very discouraged and, and she told Scott, she said, why is this so hard? Why is it always so hard? And Scott told her, he said, you know, if God didn't mean for us just to sit around and watch TV, you know, he gives us hard things and hard places because that's how we learn things. And I think that that sums up what kind of man Scott Thorfinson was. Now, what I would like for some of y'all to do, if you have any particular remembrance or joke or saying or wisdom that uh, Scott passed on, you know, write it in the comments down below. And Scott and I are about the same age, and we both spent many a Saturday morning growing up watching Roy Rogers and the Lone Ranger on a black and white TV set. And one of Scott's uh, favorite things was uh, the song Happy Trails that they sang at the end of the Roy Rogers show. And I want to tell Scott right now, you know, happy trails, my friend. Because I know, even though I did not meet you in person in life, I do know that one day I will get to meet you in person. So this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness reminding you there's some good ones out there. There's some real men out there. There's some people of character out there. You know, they're still around. And we lost a good one in Scott Thorfinson.